It's amazing how strongly people feel about that. You see, I'm talking about cutting taxes. People go like that. Talking about talk about transgender. Everyone goes crazy. Even the P.T. Barnum of our time can't believe how quickly this concocted culture war over trans rights has captivated the GOP base and how easy it is to now manipulate them with it. Trump and his allies spending tens of millions of dollars on political ads focusing on transgender issues in the weeks leading up to the election. Transgender insanity and other inappropriate racial, sexual or political content on our children. Who would even think that you could allow this? Who would say that this is okay? Uh, these people are sick. They're deranged. Okay, what's the point of talking about uh, anti-trans ads right now? 65 million on anti-trans ads? Man, drop that bag to people here in America who need it. $65 million so far, $30 million in just the last four weeks. The Trump team is spending more on ads revolving around this issue than Bidenomics, fracking, and taxes. We'll keep men out of women's sports, okay? <laughs> Hello, hello, and thank you for joining me. This is a trans moment with Brandy Beckett. I want to talk a little bit about politics and transgender people. I know, surprising, whoa, politics and transgender people, well, what is that? There's a lot of politicians who are trans? Uh, I wish that was the case. Yeah, sure, there are a few transgender politicians and there are some politicians who are promoting transgender rights. There are plenty of politicians out there right now who are using my existence and other transgender individual existence and communities as a pawn in their political power move to sway people and to scare people. No serious country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender. This is some scary Sizer stuff, people. This is scary 1930s Germany stuff. There are political ads out there from the MAGA party who are using the term trans as a scare tactic. These other politicians say they will support trans people. See how scary that is? You can't vote for them because they want to support trans people. Sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Even the liberal media was shocked Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners and illegal aliens. Every transgender inmate would have access. Kamala's for they, them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. These ads are saying that trans people are the boogeyman. They're scary. They're the enemy. They're the monster under your bed. And if someone supports the monster under your bed, they're a monster too. They cannot support people who support transgender people. This is messages that are going out there across our country. It's ridiculous. These ads are ridiculous. They're very, very hurtful to people. It is not fair to use identity of people, of American citizens, as a motivation to get people to vote from fear. Think about that. My existence is supposedly so scary to America that all you have to do is mention that I'm trans and it's tragic. On day one, I will sign an executive order banning schools from promoting critical race theory or transgender insanity. I will take historic action to defeat the toxic poison of gender ideology and reaffirm that God created two genders, male and female. You don't get it. I, I'm. I'm quite a lovely person. I'm nice. I'm friendly, even to the people who I disagree with. Still nice to you. I still accept you as an American as long as you're an American. I accept you as a human as long as you're a human. I accept you as you as long as you are you. 
Why can't you do the same? I will keep men out of women's sports. I will sign a law banning child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. Won't happen anymore. One, I'm a human. Two, I'm an American citizen. Three, I am me. And I am expressing all three of those things. And politicians have an issue with that. If you're going to vote for someone who stands against me being human, American, and myself, think about where the problem is. The problem may not be with me being human, American, and myself. The problem may be with the people who do not accept that I am human, American, and myself. Talk about transgender, everyone goes crazy. If you cannot accept that I am human, American, and myself, ask yourself the question, is the hate coming from in the house? No serious country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender. From inside. Is it coming from within you? We will defeat the cult of gender ideology to reassert that God created two genders, male and female. Because I am stating that I am human, American, and me. Those are not hateful or harmful or scary statements. And remember, all of those statements apply to everyone who is trans, everyone who is non-binary. If you're an American citizen and you're non-binary or you're trans, you're also human. None of those things get taken away because you express who you are. And here's another beauty. I will keep men out of women's sports. If you are voting for people who are against me being American and me being human, the hate is coming from within your own home, maybe within your own head. You're gonna have to address that. Look in the mirror, look in the group around you, look at the rhetoric that's being told to you, look at the sources that are spewing the hate that you are absorbing and regurgitating. Hard to believe, but it's true. Even the liberal media was shocked Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners and illegal aliens. Kamala's for they, them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Take a good look at yourself if you think that me being me, me being American, and me being human is an issue. Politicians do, and if you vote for those politicians who have an issue with me being me, American and human. It's a problem for all of us. Anyone who wants to take away me being me, me being American, or me being human. It's un-American, it's unhuman to do that. <laughs> it is not good to hate someone for who they are. We do not need this hate, and we do not need us to be used as the boogeyman monster under your bed that's gonna scare your children because I am just being me, an American human. And I'm gonna ask you, November 5th, if you're an American citizen, vote. Vote with empathy. Vote with American and human values. I urge you to vote against hate and use empathy and love would be amazing too. Think about human rights when you vote. I'm gonna leave you with this statement. Love yourself, but more importantly, like yourself. Bye-bye for now.